Standing here with the one and only Vin Russo. You're everywhere lately. I thought you were cutting back. I thought you hate traveling. I hate traveling, yeah, I do. <laughs> you know, we always talk about blood boas with you. We talk about cool ball python stuff. But right. you know what? I think the boa constrictor constrictor uh, is something that a lot of people don't really know about. Most people, when they think boas, we're really talking right. about imperatas. Uh, explain what the boa constrictor constrictor is in differentiation and then what you got here. Well, boa constrictor constrictor are snakes that evolved on the east side of the Andes Mountains in South America. So they're separated by boa constrictor imperator by the Andes Mountains, okay? So they're a different, um, well, some new findings have just been revealed that they're, they are a different species. Really, completely? Completely different species. So they're gonna be named, they're gonna be reclassified as boa constrictor. They're going to drop the constrictor constrictor. They are. Now, and boa constrictor imperator will be re reclassified as boa imperator. So there'll be two different species. Okay? Who's, who's made this final decision? Well, a few, a few scientists, um, PhDs, have uh, done some DNA work, mitochondrial DNA work, to prove that there's two clades. Right, but if, isn't a species defined by something that can't crossbreed? Uh, technically, yes, but we're finding out now through DNA that some of that old classification is being thrown out. Really? Yeah, so snakes that can reproduce together may may be closer related than we thought or maybe further related. Or it's a hybrid. You're making a hybrid. Basically. Right, right. And that's why you like to keep these localities separate. I, I keep them definitely separate. What makes a boa constrictor constrictor, or as they're going to be called, boa constrictor, so special from the well, they, imperator? They're also called the true red tail because they've got a red tail. Okay, so these are... Pokegron Surinam boas, they've got true red tails, and that's what they mean by the red tail. What's the, where does they get the Pokegron from? Pokegron is a place in Surinam. It's a, a small village where snakes have been exported from very few times. I think once or twice. That's it. So these are really rare. In How'd you get them? I got them from a friend of mine, Gus Ranfro. He and I were down in uh, Daytona about a little more than 10, 15 years ago. I forget the exact date. And a, a wholesaler brought in about six or seven of them, and Gus picked up all of them. Of course. And he and I came up with a recipe on how to um, to deparasitize them because they're wild caught. Oh, so really? What right. what kind of parasites do the wild ones they'll carry? Have, they'll have uh, tapeworms. They'll have flagellates. They'll have they'll have everything. And, and it's a nightmare. Yeah, obviously. it is. So you know, dealing with wild caught snakes. We're used to doing it because we did it How back. How do they in live the in the wild if they got all these parasites? Well, they live with the parasites because they're not under any stress. And as soon as they're put uh, under stress of being captured and thrown in a bag and then in a little container somewhere, then those parasites take over. Gotcha. So we deparasitized them. We, we, you know, raised them up and got them feeding. And Gus was the first guy to breed them. He bred them successfully. So he started basically the whole bloodline from that, those initial breedings. I thought a lot of people say it's very hard to breed the constrictor constrictors. Why is that? Because constrictor constrictor are a Amazon basin, Amazon jungle snake. They, ha they have very specific requirements as far as humidity and temperature, and they also live under very specific seasonalities that are hard to duplicate in captivity. And they also do not eat as much. Really? Yeah, they eat a lot less. So, for example, if you fed them like you've been feeding your boas, they'd be in trouble. <laughs> so they wouldn't breed then, purposely. No, they, they'd be too heavy. Okay, so they, they like to be leaner they when they like breed. They to be a little leaner, exactly. And how big do these guys? Because I understand they're, they're bigger snakes. They're a bigger snake, but there's a lot of overemphasis on that. You know, people exaggerate and say, oh, constrictor, constrictor, get 10, 12 feet. I've never seen one bigger than 10 or 12 feet. It's like saying a reticulated python could get 33 feet. Right. How many of those have you seen? Yeah. So, like, an average retic is 17, 18. An average adult boa constrictor constrictor is 7 feet, 6 feet. They're not monsters. How often would you feed uh, a boa constrictor constrictor if someone buys one and wants them to be healthy and, and eventually breed one day? A young one would be fed once every two weeks for about the first year of its life to, to harden off and become a healthy, robust snake. After about a year of its life, you feed them very seasonally. You feed them in the hottest, humid time of the year and you feed them again every two three weeks but in the winter i give them the whole winter off i don't feed no them. feeding i don't feed them at all in the winter and do you think that really kind of oh, sets up a, a, like a breeding cycle what it does is it snakes grow when they don't feed believe it or not really because <laughs> what they'll do is they'll store energy 
Okay? It's just like humans. If you eat a lot, you poop a lot. If a snake eats a lot, they poop a lot. But if you feed them properly, they don't poop as much because they're absorbing all of the, you're feeding them into, in, into energy. So again, people feed their snakes too much. And constrictor constrictor are the biggest, the biggest, um, um, you know, become the biggest culprits of that. They can't handle that. When should they be bred? How old? Five years, six years. That long, really? Yeah, so yeah. most people don't have the patience to deal no, with these nobody things. Nobody has the patience, only me. <laughs> That's why you're successful. <laughs> the parents that had these are probably 10 years old, and it wasn't their first litter. Um, I've also got some Brazilian snakes from the late Lloyd Lemke, and the parents of these were over 10 years old, and that was their first time. So, Is, it, is this a very rare uh, This is a very motel. rare locality, too, because Brazil has been shut down since the mid-'80s. So their, their great-grandparents came in sometime in the mid-'80s. So there, how many people out there would you say are actually breeding constrictor constrictors purely? You know, I don't know the exact number, but it's literally a handful of people that are, that are breeding constrictor constrictor. Uh, I wouldn't say on a commercial basis, but on a regular basis. Do you feel that you're preserving these species in a sense? I definitely am. I'm definitely preserving this race and this species simply by keeping them pure and uh, not crossbreeding them and keeping the Pokey Grand Surinams with the Pokey Grand Surinams, the Lemke Brazils with the Lemke Brazils. I've also got other Brazil boas, um, one race from, um, they call them North Brazils, those I keep with each other. Um, also a, a race of Belen Brazil, I keep them together and they look a little similar but I'm not going to mix them because I know they came from different places and they came into the country at different times. Then always a pleasure talking to you. Thanks for the information thanks, on the boa constrictor. New, boa constrictor. New designation. Right, thanks man. That does it for another great trip here in Tinley Park. I got to see some amazing, amazing animals. Uh, some stuff that I really wanted to go home with, but it was a little too expensive for me this time around. But, uh, you know, hopefully you guys enjoyed all the educational stuff we talked about, all the great animals, all the unique personalities. And uh, if you like what you're seeing, make sure to click the subscribe button below and let us know how much love we got here. This is Dave Palumbo from Tinley Park from Muscle Serpents University.